Hello, folks. Today in history was the Sixth Crusade. And, oh boy. Frederick II. Frederick II, Holy Roman Emperor. Oh, cool dude. He was excommunicated four times. He kept uh, pissing off the Pope, which is always good in my book. He kept, and then he kept invading Rome and making the Pope de-excommunicate him. He was also um, the first person on record to uh, abolish trial by, uh, by ordeal because it didn't make sense, which is pretty good. He also decided that he wanted to launch his own crusade. Um, Jerusalem was in the hands of the Muslims at the time, and there were the, all the crusader states still, still around. It wasn't uh, the Muslims hadn't, hadn't, hadn't uh, swept them away yet. <clears throat> but he was excommunicated at the time, and, well, he decided that it was more important to launch the crusade than to invade Rome one more time. So, he gathered whatever people were willing to follow him personally, even though he was excommunicated, went to the Holy Land, and announced that he was going to capture Jerusalem. And all the crusaders and whatever who were there wanted nothing to do with him. Because he was, well, he was German, he was not part of their club, and he was excommunicated at the time. But um, he went ahead with it, and he basically he met with the leader of the Muslims, what was um, Al Kamil, I think it was at the time. And what he said was basically, um, you know, we could go through this whole crusade thing with sieges and massacres and pillaging, or you could just give me a drill some right now. It was a lot of trouble, and it worked. You know, ordinarily, I do not admire con men as a, as a general rule, but um, that's cool. With, with, with this tiny band of people who are loyal to him personally, while excommunicated, without any kind of support from the Pope or the Crusaders, he conned his way to take Jerusalem and Nazareth and uh, Bethlehem, I think, without a battle without killing anybody, with a solid peace that actually lasted. It's amazing. The Sixth Crusade is the best crusade, without question. And after he was crowned king of Jerusalem, he uh, turned around and went to Rome and forced the, king, forced the Pope to excommunicate, to de-excommunicate him one more time. And that's it, the Sixth Crusade. Awesome. So, do you have, do you have any cool history uh, anecdotes to share? I'd sure love to hear them. Uh, please comment below with anything you have to say. I'd just like to know what you think. And uh, have a good day, and God bless.